What's going on, YouTube? If you guys clicked on this video, it's probably because you want to get better at Apex because it's in the title. You're in luck because over the last few months, I've seen significant improvement in my own gameplay, and I just wanted to make a quick video for you guys to show you what I did in order to get better at the game. Now, most of these tips are going to be for PC, regardless of your input. If you're on console, don't worry because I did include some stuff for you guys too. So let's get into it. This is R5 Reloaded, and it has been the number one thing that has helped me get better in Apex Legends recently. And I'm just going to show you guys what I do when I get into R5. If you're on console, unfortunately, you're not going to be able to use this since it is PC only. If you're on PC and you don't know how to get R5, I'm going to have a link in the description down below. But if you are on console, don't worry. I have something for you guys at the end of the video. You can stay here or you can jump to this timestamp to see what we've got cooking for console players. On the main menu, just click servers, then click aim trainer. So once you load up flow state, you're going to have all these different challenges that you can pick from. And I'm just going to show you guys sort of the settings and different challenges that I do that have helped me. So first thing we're going to do is click on settings and change weapon. I generally like to go with one AR and one SMG because those are usually what I would like to use in the game, but you can use whatever you want. I also just put red dots and gray attachments just to make it a little bit more difficult for me. But again, you can use whatever you like. After you've selected your loadout, let's talk about some of the challenges that I think will help you out the most. We've got one more setting we need to change. Just click on settings and then turn on auto reload on hit and turn off auto reload on kill. So this first one that I'm going to show you guys is pretty niche since it's skydiving targets. Obviously, it's not going to come up in game that frequently. However, I think it's very good for understanding the projectile speed for the different weapons. You're able to start shooting and then you realize, oh, I don't actually have to lead that much with the flatline. And then you swap over to the vault and you realize you have to lead a lot more. Each challenge is 60 seconds and I like to do each one maybe three, four or five times depending on how long I want to play before I jump on. For the next one, change your settings to reload on kill instead of reload on hit. This is going to make it more difficult and you're not going to be able to just shoot endlessly. For this, you have to get an elimination for your guns to reload. Otherwise, you're going to lose a lot of time reloading your guns. What I really like about this one is this is a great training exercise to use if you struggle with certain optics. Like me personally, I sometimes have issues with the two to four times on the flatline. So sometimes I'll just come in here, use the two to four times, and then just focus on shooting the targets that are furthest away. It'll help you out with your recoil control and you'll get a lot more comfortable using those optics. If you're a lower level player or maybe you're brand new to mouse and keyboard, this next one is probably gonna frustrate you at the beginning, but we're gonna go to target switching. This is gonna spawn dummies all around the player and they're gonna just do short little scrapes forward, backward, left and right. Your objective here is to work on not overcorrecting. You want to consistently be able to take out a dummy without having to reload your weapons manually. Now, if this one made you super frustrated and you really wanna hate yourself, then the next challenge is gonna be perfect for you. For this one, we're just gonna use the wingman. We're gonna turn on reload on hit, turn off reload on kill, and we're gonna do close, fast strafes. Everybody knows that terrible feeling when somebody is really close to you and they're strafing back and forth and you just miss every single shot with the wingman. This one's gonna help with that. My recommendation for this one is when you first start, don't move at all. Just focus on landing your shots and trying to be consistent at getting your eliminations. Once you feel comfortable, then go ahead and start adding in your own strafe and just try to stay consistent enough so that you don't have to reload. There's also these really niche challenges that you can do, like this one that lets you practice your grenades. And this one that lets you practice on targets that are bouncing through the air. Now I'm going to show you the number one thing that I have done in R5 that has made me improve more than anything. For this, we're going to go back to the main menu and we're going to click on this little tab that says servers at the top. Once you're in here, you're going to use the playlist filter at the bottom and you're going to change it to FS underscore 1v1. Make sure to select the server that's in your region and then hit connect. This is going to throw you into a 1v1 playlist where you are constantly going to be battling 1v1 for 10 minutes straight. This is just a warning. There are some incredibly talented players that play in the R5 1v1s. So the first couple times that you play, you may not perform well, but don't be discouraged. Just run it again. If you made it this far into the video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button. Maybe like the video and in the comments, let me know which one of these challenges you like the most. If you're still watching, it's probably because you're on console and you want to improve an apex, or maybe you enjoyed the rest of the video and you just wanted to see what else I had to say. Either way, let me show you how you can improve if you're on console or if you just don't want to download R5. So I started making this part of the video and I quickly realized that I kept finding more and more things that I wanted to explain and it was just going to be a super long video. So instead, I'm just going to share with you three things that I think you can do to improve in the firing range if you're on console. If you want me to make a full video on it, let me know in the comments. Number one is recoil. Practice using all of the weapons or at least the weapons you like to use and practice using them with no attachments. 
Being comfortable using any weapon you find at the beginning of the game can be huge. Start out with the dummies standing still and try to one mag the dummies on blue armor. Once you feel comfortable, slowly move the dummies further and further away until you feel like you're consistent and eliminating them at whatever range. The next thing we're going to do here is take what we did in the first step and just step it up a little bit and add in a slow strafe. The objective here isn't necessarily to one mag the dummies, but rather understand your sensitivity a little bit better and prevent overcorrecting. I've hosted so many custom games and I can always tell when someone is either a new player or a low level controller player because they constantly overcorrect when somebody strafes. Try practicing this at various ranges as well. This last tip is going to be a big one. Grab two gold mags for the weapons you're using and try to practice using your cover and the first weapon to take out a dummy, putting your gun away, changing cover, and then swapping to your other weapon. And just keep repeating this. You don't have to do fancy movement at the start, just focus on being comfortable moving and shooting. Apex is all about movement, and if you are constantly running around with your gun out and not playing cover, it's going to be a lot more difficult on you. Anyways, that does it for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Huge shout out to our Patreon supporters, and if you want to support, check out the link in the video, and as always, I'll see you guys in the next one.